Well, hello there and happy Monday to you. I hope that you've had a wonderful day. And listen, you know how we start things off. We start off with a thought provoking question. Well, one or two. So first off, do you feel like you're on a hamster wheel? Or do you feel like every day you're just going through the motion? Well, listen, it's okay. You know, we're going to get into it over here in the break room. So today we're talking about signs you're stuck on autopilot as a multi-passionate nurse. So before we get into it, you know, let's go through our housekeeping things. So um, welcome, first of all, to the break room. This is the nurse self-care safe space where you can escape from the day-to-day -day and you come in here in the break room to get recharged and get refreshed. And then you go back and return to all the things that you have to do. Listen, because we know you do all of the things. And then Introducing myself, I am Deetra Dennis. I am the self-care coach for nurses, and I empower the multi-passionate nurse to prioritize the care of her MVP. Yes, you. Can I say that? You are your MVP. And so that you can show up as the best version of yourself and impact the well-being of those connected to you. And so I'm so glad that you're here. And again, we're going to get into it. Got a little bit more housekeeping to go over. So just for you to know that we are streaming live on YouTube, on Facebook, and on LinkedIn. So those of you that are on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, become a part of the family, and click on the notification bell so you are alerted when I um, post um, well, when I go live or when I post, I am posting some things over there in the community now. So you'll know when I'm doing those things. And for everyone, you know, sharing is caring. So if you know of someone that could benefit from the things that we talk about over here in the break room, it's okay to invite them in. Let them come on in and enjoy and have a little time together. And lastly, listen, this is a time of dialogue. It's not just me running my mouth. It's for us to have communication together. So if you're here watching live, I would love to see you commenting in the chat letting me know where you're tuning in from. And then if you're watching the replay, because listen, I see the numbers and I thank you for watching the replay. I really do. Um, and so if you're watching the replay and you comment, just, you know, start it off with saying hashtag replay. That's all. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm not sure who that is on LinkedIn, but thank you. Um, for um, if you would wouldn't mind for some reason that it's not showing me your name, um, but I would love to welcome you. But welcome anyway, and thank you for the comment. Um, so let's get into it. You ready? All right. So again, we're talking about your um, signs. You're stuck on autopilot as a multi passionate nurse. So. Listen, it's only two today, so we might be, I know we normally do like 10 or 15 minutes. It may be a little shorter. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But these two things came up to me um, um, up in, when I was preparing for our time together because I was like, these are the two things, as the older people said, hemmed me up. And I wanted to share it with you and some things that you can do to get unstuck right? Okay. So, and you know, before we get into things, I would like to, hi, Anna. Welcome. Welcome. I um, want to, you know, we start off with defining things so we can level set. So when we're talking about autopilot, so Collins Dictionary says that if you're on automatic pilot or autopilot, you're acting without thinking about what you're doing. And usually, because you have done it many times before, it just becomes routine, right? Come becomes mundane, if you will. And you know, over here, I love music. So the song that came to mind was by Atlantic Star, you know, Circles. You guys remember that song? Circles, going around in circles, but going around on that hamster wheel. Yeah. That's what it is. So the first thing that came to mind when I was thinking about signs that you're stuck on autopilot as a multi-passionate nurse is that you're always on. 
Can you type in the chat me? If that's you, you're always on. You're busy or distracted or both. And you just never have time to slow down, never have time to reflect. You're just always on. Even at night, you're not able to sleep well because you're always on. And then you end up having decision fatigue. And what ends up happening there, you're emotionally and mentally drained. And when that happens, you know, your concentration, I'm sorry, concentration you know, it's not there. You're in a fog. Anyone attest to those things when you're always on? Or listen, how about this? It's like the um, Energizer Bunny. You feel like you keep going and keep going and keep going. But listen, how about we just take that battery out? Can we do that? Just take the battery out and chill, huh? You agree with me? Let me know for you, what are some things that you notice about yourself when you're not turning off? What are some signs that you recognize when you're not turning off? And I have another example list, you know, all the examples between music and things that come to mind and analogy that made me think of, oh, this is a great example of what it's like to be always on and just never turning off. So have you ever driven long distance and you put your car on cruise control and it's like, you know, you take your, your foot off the pedal and you're just driving, you know, and the only way in order to decelerate or to stop the cr cruise control, what do you have to do? Put on brakes. So might I um, ask that we pump the brakes for ourselves so that we can get out of that autopilot of doing things and never turning off, but having an opportunity to pause, create space, you know, so that you can reflect, number one, but it helps you to pay attention to what's going on as well as be intentional. Because again, when you're always on, you, you, you are just overwhelmed, right? Because you're always on and never turning off. So anyone, if you agree with that, or again, what happens or what signs do you see in yourself when you're not turning off, okay? Or you're always on, that is what we said that number one is. All right, so number two, listen, I probably should have put this one as number one because this one right here really, really had me, again, as all the older people would say, hemmed up. You overcommit. Is that you? Raise your hand. I should raise both hands and both feet because listen, that was me overcommitting. Listen, when someone asks you some ask a, a, um, a request of you, listen, before they even finish the, the request, I'm already saying yes. It's like yes is our default setting to say yes to everything. And I mean it that way, everything. Um, or even how about this? Before someone even asks you, you're already volunteering saying, you, you know, I, I I got that. I'll help you with that. Is that you? Anyone in the chat? Type me in the chat if that sounds like you. So again, with this one, when you overcommit, you end up being overwhelmed, stressed, exhausted, fatigued, and on the path to burnout. Anybody, anybody can attest to that? I know that was my story. And it wasn't until I made the um, conscious decision through coaching, um, supporting me and changing my mindset about things. So I do life differently now. And so one of the things that I do whenever someone asks me something, I pause. So, you know, pay attention here on both of these. It requires us to pause. Right. So I create space between when someone asks me a request and my response. And I do have an acronym for the pause and maybe one other session we'll get into um, that. And if that's something that you would like, let me know. And then, you know, like I said, I'll, you know, share what the pause um, stands for for me because it's so important to take that time back. And I know, I know this is the new year and everyone is saying, you know, this is our time to say yes. And, and it is, but I, I just ask caution for those of us who are multi-passionate nurses that we 
proceed with caution, okay, before we say yes, let, let's pause before we say yes to some things. Um, or how about this saying yes to you, giving yourself that opportunity to think it over before you say yes first and making sure that you're not over committing. All right. Can we agree with that? Because listen, you know what happens also with that exhaustion in both scenarios. You have the exhaustion if you're not sleeping well and you know the next day because you're tired, usually you you end up snacking on things that you really shouldn't be snacking on. Right. Because you the need is sleep, but you're trying to fill that need with um, your self-soothing, you are doing that with maybe not so great of choice of, of food items, might I say. I know I'm guilty because I would go to potato chips. I always wanted something salty and something crunchy um, when I wasn't getting enough sleep. And those were the things that I went to instead of, you know, taking a nap, right? Because that's what I needed. I needed some sleep. I needed to Take the battery out, right? But anyway, so again, those are two signs of um, that you're stuck in autopilot. And so that means you're always on. So we're going to pause, right? And reflect so that you can create space so that you can pay attention and um, be intentional. And then the second one is that you overcommit. And on that one as well, we're going to pause so that there is space between the time you receive a request and you respond. So if there are any questions, I'm open to answering any questions or what was your takeaway from tonight? And if, did you see yourself in, in either of the two that I mentioned or even both? Did you see yourself in that? Are you one that you're always on or you're overcommitting? So I will wait just a second before uh, I end for us tonight. And you know, I have a quote for us too. So this is what we are quote for today. We need to replace the vicious cycle or that circle, right? Of stress with a vicious cycle of self care. If you agree with that, um, put hearts in the chat because I think it is important for us to get off that hamster wheel or get off the autopilot and really live a life of intention by ensuring that we prioritize self-care. So if there aren't any comments or questions, we will go ahead and end for the for the day. And I wish you a wonderful evening and a wonderful week. And I will see you back on next Monday.